My name is Allison. I play the trombone. It is 9.12 in the morning on a Saturday and I'm filming right now because I could not wait to do this. Um, so I mentioned in the last video that there was a new Pokemon collection coming out and I saw it and immediately was like, I need that right now in my life. It's happening. And that's because it is the Scarlet Violet 151 collection. And uh, you may know, I'm old. My very first Pokemon game I played when I was about maybe eight or something. That was 1997. The first game I ever played was Pokemon Red. And then after that, I played Pokemon Yellow. And then after that, I played Pokemon Gold. And then after that, I think I took a break for a while and then I played Platinum. It took 90 hours to beat it. So, <laughs> Um, so yeah, so Pokemon has been a thing my whole life. I used to love Pokemon Snap, and when I was like into Pokemon, I was into Pokemon Generation 1, which of course were the original 151 Pokemon, including Mew and Mewtwo. So when I saw that this collection came with the original 151 Pokemon, and only the 151 Pokemon, I was like, yeah, this was made for us. This is made... <laughs> This is made for old people, just like me. So I was like, I, I gotta, I gotta grab this. Now also recently, uh, Ro and I, I mentioned last time, we have been dabbling in actually playing the game since I have way too many cards now and you know, it's something to do. So um, we've been, you know, doing the Battle Academy and we've been getting better at the very basics, but of course the game has gotten a lot of additions over the past several decades. So, um, so I got the Elite Trainer Box, which you see right here, and that is going to come with some booster packs, which we're opening today, and it's going to come with a special Snorlax card. It comes with a couple like status coins and some die that you have to roll now because, oh my god, this game has gotten too complicated. So we're going to probably open that one um, second. And the first thing we're going to open is this other thing I got because I am extra. And uh, I got this this binder collection because, you know, I've, I've at this point, I've gotten um, a good number of decent cards, which I like. Again, I started collecting these again because of the art. I did not know the art had evolved the way that it has. Get it? So uh, anyway, I really thought getting a binder would be kind of cool because that way I can put some of my best cards in it and kind of keep it handy. And I know that the cards are safe. So we've got this binder and of course we got some booster packs in it featuring our favorite Mew, which is also on the design of the binder. That's fine. Anyway, so we're gonna open this one first and uh, we're gonna get into it. We're gonna save the boosters till the end, by the way. Um, I'm gonna get all the boosters from both and I'm gonna dig into it then. Okay, so let's look into this and see what we've got. Oh my goodness, that binder. Feels really nice, actually. Okay, so here's the cards. You can see these booster packs. Very, very lovely. Uh, let's see if I can get this apart. Yes, I can. Boop. All right, ready for, for the dump? Is that abuse? <laughs> I don't know. But that was a very beautiful dump. Look at that. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, we could show you a pack kind of uh, up close here. The lovely Mew. There we go. And heck, I don't even care. I'll show you too. I'll show this camera. <laughs> there, oh yeah, that's right. I got you thumbnail stuff now. Let's do the thumbnail. Or we'll have to look really surprised. Ready? We'll, we'll use that one later. <laughs> okay. So anyway, here's the four packs. So we're going to put those over here and just kind of have them. And then here's the binder. And honestly, okay, so... It, it doesn't feel like the most expensive material, but I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be a lot harsher than this. Um, I thought it was going to be more like cheap dollar store binder like for kids. Um, and it's kind of somewhere in between. Uh, but I really like um, that the, 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 what do you call this part? Um, the thing, you know, the, the binding, the bind, the rind, the, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, the, <laughs> it's too early, okay? Um, yeah, this part is actually, you can see, quite rounded, and I really like that because a lot of the time with the older, fo like, folios and such, I used to have as a kid, they would always be weird there, and it would be really hard to keep them open and stuff. But this feels pretty solid. 
like the tissue protective that's cool and then yeah and then you just got uh, a number of pages and honestly like this binder holds a lot of cards i'm actually very surprised at how many uh cards this holds so i'm pretty excited because this is pretty much going to be like you know the good cards binder like if i have cards that i love the design for um like recently i got pidgey which i really love um if i really love the design and the foil stuff or if it just happens to be worth money and i whatever i don't care i'll probably put it in the binder just to kind of uh keep it safe and i love mew quite a lot as well so i'm very excited about this my memories with mew is when i was playing pokemon snap as a kid the original um the very first like opening movie is the photographer trying to like snap a quick photo of mew and mew is the one that gets away and so um spoilers at the end of the game mew is kind of like the the holy grail of pokemon photos so i have good memories of trying to snap cool pictures of mew whilst it's darting around being cute so <laughs> i'm uh i'm pretty happy with that yeah cool design just like the uh pokemon cards you can't see it but very recently i have uh well maybe you can't see it i don't know it's like back here. I've got a, a new sort of like rolling cart shelf that I bought because I've gotten not just Pokemon cards, but I've gotten too much other stuff. So I, I finally got a shelf to put everything on. So I've got like my guitar amp and stuff, but a lot of it, like one full shelf is just dedicated to only Pokemon cards. I don't have a problem. Anyway, next we're going to open the Elite Trainer box. So like I said, this is basically just to introduce Ro and me to the modern extra rules and concepts of playing the Pokemon trading card game. I don't know how good we're going to get, but it's at least going to get um, our, our toes wet, <laughs> so to speak. And it's the Snorlax one. I also, by the way, really love this. This is another thing that really caught my eye. So you may notice, right, that I have this mat um, that I bought recently just to kind of have a nice mat uh, to show things with all the starters down here and all of the uh, energy types. And what I really like about this collection is it's, it's not energy types, but all around here, right, you can see it's this white background with a lot of different colored silhouettes of Pokemon. And I really think this aesthetic really goes well with this mat. I don't know if they planned it that way or not, but I really, really like how well they match up. And especially, again, it's the 151. These are probably the ones I would use the most, right? Oldie, who only knows the original 151. So I'm really excited about that aspect too. So we're gonna look at this. I've never seen a box like this. I've never seen an unboxing of one of these. So uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. So we're gonna take that off. Ooh, and the inside, can you see that? The inside is also that same design. How cool. I could reverse that and like make something out of this, you know? I mean, I'm never going to, <laughs> I'm never going to, but I could, you know? <laughs> All right, so we got the player's guide. This is what I really wanted. So this is gonna show us how this freaking game works. Uh, oh my goodness, and it's gonna show some starters. Oh my Lord, great. Yeah, look at that, originals. In 2017, random offshoot. In 2017, I was, uh, I was in Japan visiting uh, my friends and everything. And the I Choose You Pikachu movie came out, like the like celebratory anniversary Pokemon movie. And I went to, it was like a Toho Cinemas or something. I went to there and I watched the movie in Japanese, like opening weekend. The animation for the starters, it was like it started out in this huge arena and everything. And just to see the animation now versus when the anime first came out, that was really dope. And then they were selling this Satoshi hat who is of course Ash. And so I bought the original like Satoshi slash Ash hat from the Pokemon series from when I was like 10 years old, you know? Um, so yeah, I, I was, uh, I, it was a good thing to do, I feel. I feel like that was a moment where I was like, oh yeah, like it's 2017, but like this was made for me. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so they're just gonna flip through here a little bit. Ooh, look at the Mew, Mew X, okay. And we got some, some original, okay, I don't wanna spoil myself too much, so. So we're just gonna quickly flip through here. So it's just going over the rules of how the game works. It's going over probably like the types and things. I'm not looking at any of those cards. I hope you didn't see any, I didn't see any. But anyway, there's the guide. So we're gonna use that a good bit later on. And then here's your lovely box with the sliding top. I love this kind of thing. This sort of, this is like what you would buy in the dollar store in Japan, but in a good way to organize your life. I just, I like this kind of material and I like the sliding top. It's uh, quite cool. All right, so let's flip the box and we're gonna center you here. 
Um, I like the 151 holographic, nice. And we're just gonna lift it up and see what's in there. Whee! Okay, uh, this is confusing. What on earth? Is this like just a shape keeping thing? What? A, why do I need that? Do I need this in there? Is that, do we keep this here? Like, do I need to keep that? It comes out, right? Can y'all tell I haven't had enough coffee yet? <laughs> Maybe not too much. I don't know. Anyway, yeet. Okay, so first off, we are gonna take, we're gonna drop everything first. We're gonna take all of these packs, every single one. We're gonna put them way over there because I don't need that. Goodbye. Okay, and then we're gonna see what all we have here. So we've got our dice. I believe these ones are the damage dice. So like when you do an attack, um, and it's like based on stuff or something. I'm trying to remember, but I think these are the damage die. And then this one is the e EX something official, whatever flip die. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but it's that. So we'll put it there, I guess. Okay. And then what else do we have? We have, oh, we have some dividers. Oh, those are cute. Oh, oh. see. And it's funny because again, when I bought this mat down here, I got some dividers that are very, very very similar to these they're not exactly the same but they're very close and I like them because they're they're vibrant you know like they're visible but they also to me look very clean I, I don't know why maybe it's just because it's white but it's not so white that it's boring it's covered in design but it doesn't feel too crowded I don't know I'm not a design major anyway those are very lovely we'll put them here okay um and then we have okay yeah and then here are the two um these are the two status coin thingies, I believe. So I believe when a Pokemon's burnt, you might use this one. And I believe if they're poisoned, you might use this one. And I'm not sure if you can tell, uh, but it's got a very beautiful reflection, like a very beautiful sheen of color. Like the fire, especially like when I tilt the coins, they're changing color, which is very, very cool. So we got those. Uh, we've got, what else do we have in here? I'm just gonna fish around. Um, Okay, I'll just drop that. Oh, look. Oh, we have our Snorlax card. Look at that. We have a beautiful, beautiful Snorlax. I like this card a lot. Uh, they show this design on the outside, um, I think, like on the back of the box or something somewhere. I saw this card already, but it's very, very lovely. Um, I like, like, this is one that I will put in the binder. Like, I'll just put this in the binder and then do nothing with it. Good old Snorlax. Snorlax and Pokemon Snap making my life suck, you know? Okay, and then what else do we have? So then we have what I believe to be a metric ton of energies. I'm pretty sure that's what these are. I'm pretty sure that's what these are. So let's just make sure that's what these actually are. I'm pretty sure it's just a crap ton of energies. Yeah, see, it's just a crap ton of energies. <laughs> energy now usually i would throw an energy over my head i am not throwing these energies there's way too many of them but yes a lot of energy which honestly again for people that are actually playing the game you need a metric crap ton of these right because every move that you make every breath that you take i'll be what no no that's not how it goes every every move you make playing the pokemon games uh you have to attach these energy cards so having a lot of them it's a good thing to have um because i've only been buying booster packs right and the booster pack is not a, a, a full-on deck to play with right so booster packs aren't necessarily going to give you a bunch of energy you only get one so yeah i'm okay with that all right, and then finally we have a bunch of sleeves. And these sleeves are very lovely because they're the same design, same design. The one thing I wish, now I think these sleeves are fine. Let's test it. Because I want to be sure here. I'm going to grab one of them, but just one. Just one, I think. I want to see here for a second because, so some of the, um, some of the sleeves I have found, uh-oh, come on now, you need to come out. Some of the sleeves I have found, the, um, the, the, the clear part of the sleeve, right? Which allows you to see the card. Sometimes they have this kind of like matte finish and that's very annoying because I don't like the matte finish covering up the beautiful card itself, right? So this is the card here, right? Without any kind of plastic covering it, without any kind of shielding, right? Now let's put in the sleeve. Yeah, this is what I thought. Yeah, this is what I thought. So if you look here, 
right? Can you tell that this sleeve is a little matted? So not, not like a, not like a dog matted, but just like it has a matte finish, <laughs> but you can see, right? There's this brightness and I'll, I'll, I'll spread it very thin here so that it's not just me being goofy, but yeah. So if you, if you move the card like this, right, you could see the brilliance of the top here but it's kind of muted now because I put it in this matte sleeve like this. So while the card still looks nice, it looks fine, but it's lost something, right? Like it's, it's lost that shimmer and I don't really care for that. So what I'll probably end up doing is uh, I'll probably use these sleeves. Um, I very well could use these sleeves. Like if I find a deck or two that I actually really like, cause that's really what I think they should be for. Like these are for the cards that you're going to play with. That way you don't ruin them. I might end up using these matte ones for the cards I'm going to play with in the game. And then once I have some more with the very like clear finish, or I'll just put them in the binder. Right. And then that way I can keep them somewhere where they look really nice. So anyway, so that was the uh, box. So now, uh, probably the part that you actually care about is the, um, is the actual cards. Now I'm going to be totally uh, honest with you as soon as I can do that. Now I'm going to be totally honest with you. I have not looked at these cards at all. I don't think, I think I may have seen one guy open them on YouTube because it was in Japan, but I, I don't really remember. And of course he didn't get everything, right? He didn't get all the cards, right? So I have not looked up any of the designs. I have no idea like what the foil cards are or the full arts. I don't know. I literally just saw 151 and my old butt just clicked buy it. I didn't care. So, so this is going to be as much as a surprise for me as it is for you. So I'm, uh, I'm very excited. Okay. So let me move my thingy. Okay. We'll just uh, get going, I guess. So first of all is pack number one. All right loving it oh yeah look at this heck yeah oh yeah see these are the good packs look at that quality ah see look at that Oof. okay so again i have no reference on how to do any of this so we're just gonna flip and go i guess here we go <gasps> pikachu it's pikachu wow i knew that one. okay i'm not gonna pull that the whole time all right so we have pikachu lovely um sure all right, we have Farfetch'd. Ooh, I like that. I like that he's holding a leak, and I, I can't remember. There's got to be like a leak pun or something in Japanese. Okay, and we have Shelter. I know Shelter. Cool, cool, cool. And next we have Helix Fossil. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Oh, nice item. Okay, that's going to be interesting. I'll have to look at this later and like really get the rules. All right. Ooh, Seeking. Nice, nice, nice. Yep. Okay, and then we have Butterfree, okay. Bye bye flight, all right. Lapras, good, we like Lapras, he's fine. Okay, Rhyhorn, neat, I'll take it. Ooh, War Turtle, nice. Man, I kind of forget about some of these. I love this, like the sunset here, that's, I don't know why, that's like such a weird artistic touch, I like it. And, uh-oh. Oh, my star. Very cool. And we got the Helix fossil a second ago and it had little Oma star in the corner. So maybe they're related. I'm not sure. Okay. And then we got an energy. Cool. And that's it. All right. So that's pack number one. I'll take it. It is, it is, it is quite nice. Like recognizing everyone for once. That's cool. All right. Let's get the next one here. I'm trying very hard not to damage these for some reason. It's just a pack. Like, I don't really get why I don't want to damage them. But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, I, sh I should keep them nice and safe, right? Maybe they'll be collectors someday. I don't know. All right. Got to sit up here. Okay. Next we have, boop, Venonat. Okay. Venonat, right? Maybe. Okay. And then next we have Pidgey. Cool. Pidgey, whoa. Pidgey's art is cool, actually. I like Pidgey. <laughs> Pidgey's actually really good. Okay. Uh, it's Pidgey. Okay, uh, next is Poliwhirl. Oh, I love the little wall. It's like he's a little Polly nursery. Oh, how cute. <laughs> Polly preschool. <laughs> All right, next is Kakuna. Kakuna. Nice. Huh. Uh, wow. It's weird because the second one looks like it's like in a tree. Like it's like buried in there. Or that's like some sort of webbing that's made to look like a tree. I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, next is Rhydon. Cool, cool, cool. Huh, nice. Okay, and next is Executor. Nice. Okay, I like this one. I like the beach. 
I like the colors. Very vibrant. I like that. I like this kind of art style, I think. But the Pidgeys actually may be my favorite. That was cool. Okay. Bridget Bend. Okay. We'll look up that later. Ooh, reverse uh, electrode. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is like, I don't know why, but this makes me think of like Pokemon Snap. This is Pokemon Snap Electro. <laughs> okay. Bell Sprout. Another reverse. Cool. I actually, hold on. Yeah, this is kind of like the Pidgey, I think. I like this art style the best, I think. Yeah. And. <gasps> All right, we're getting a full art. What is this? Oh my lord. Okay, hold on. We gotta calm ourselves. All right, what is this? It is a trainer. It is Daisy. Daisy's help. I don't know who Daisy is, so there you go. But I got a full, full art Daisy. Fine. And oh my goodness, y'all. We got a sparkly, warkly energy as well. Wow, so it's two reverses, a full art, and then uh, and then a sparkly energy. All right, next one. All right, this is very, very fun. I am very much enjoying myself right now. Okay. All right, next up we have... Pink. All right, we have... Oh, Slowpoke. I love Slowpoke. Okay, this is my favorite art. Favorite, favorite, favorite. I actually think I really like Slowpoke. Recently, like when I've been seeing Pokemon anything, whenever I see Slowpoke, I'm just like, I'm lazy, you know? Like Slowpoke is my guy. I like Slowpoke. Look at that. How cute. The floaty. Ah, I love it so much. This might actually go in the binder. Like, I don't know. All right, Magmar looks really sweet. Dope. My husband will appreciate this one. Horsey. Very pretty. Oh, that art is very dramatic. Wow, that's very nice. Huh. Abra. Oh my gosh. Love it. I love it. It's like a, yeah, it's sort of like a, like from far away, it almost looks like a 3D art, you know? But then once you take a closer look, it's sort of like 2D, 3D. It's quite nice. Okay. Cycling road. Fine. I like cycling. Scyther. Oh, cool. And this looks straight from the anime. Nice. Anime Scyther. <laughs> cool. Whoa, Charmeleon looks awesome. That's like chaos, Charmeleon. Wow. He's like, I will destroy everything. And he just goes crazy. <laughs> That's amazing. Cool. Oh, we got a reverse. <gasps> Dragonair. Wow. Oh, I love the colors of Dragonair. Cool. I like the water here. That's very, very nicely done. Very sweet. Oh, and we got a Tratini. Okay. Hey, that's helpful. Two reverses, Stratini Dragon. Okay. And then we have, oh, we got a hollow. <gasps> Ditto. Cool. <laughs> wow. Very, very nice. Very cool. That's an adorable card. I like that. Huh. All right then. And then we got an energy of some sort. Cool. All right. Making it. Okay. Next we have Weedle. He's so cute. <laughs> All right. Zubat. Fine. Am I, like, not close enough? I, I can't tell. How about, like, way up there? <gasps> Goldeen. Goldeen looks like Goldeen's had better days. Goldeen looks kind of... <laughs> Goldeen looks a little special here, but that's okay. Goldeen. Ooh, Nidoran. Lovely. Classic. Uh, Nidoran female. Important to know. Giovanni's Crimson. I, did, I still love how, like, Nidoran female male, I love how that became a thing, but I kind of get it. I think it's because they're like a cardinal or something. I think that's what they were going for, that they look different. But, oh, well. Cloister's cool. Yeah, I'll take that. I like how the art style is pretty much the same, I think, as the other one. Shelter. Ooh, Grabber. Okay. I guess it's a Team Rocket Grabber. <laughs> Fine. Whoa, Hondra's pretty dope. See, this is the same art style as the, as like the, as the, the other seahorse one, um, the, the mean looking seahorse one, like the leafy sea dragon. It looks like that art style. It's interesting. Okay. Whoa, we got Articuno as a reverse. Very nice. I was all about those legendary birds in my youth. Pretty. And then we have... Ooh, holographic to do it. Okay. Not my favorite art, but still pretty cool. It reflects their speed, right? And energy. Cool. All right. We're making it. All right. Boom. <gasps> Machop. Cool. <laughs> Machop is cool. We like Machop. <gasps> Porygon. Oh, I love the colors. The pink and the green, or the pink and the blue, I mean, against that green. I think it's because, yeah, like magenta cyan. Those are such pure colors. And then when you put it against the green, especially, it's just very satisfying. Cool, cool, cool. All right, next we have <gasps> Electabuzz. Cool. I feel like 
I feel like I keep forgetting that Electabuzz has a tail, but he does. There it is. Love the hand, the shiny hand. Very, very menacing. I like it. All right. And then we have, bing, he's fine. He's cute. Then we have oh, Dugong. Fine. Dugong is cool. I used to watch, okay, I used to watch this short by Chuck Jones um, based on the Jungle Book, actually. The Jungle Book is a collection of short stories, and there is one called The White Seal, and I used to watch that all the time as a kid uh, by Chuck Jones. The White Seal and Ricky Tiki Tavi and Mowgli's Brothers. I really loved all three of those, especially, but Ricky Tiki Tavi was my favorite one. White Seal is close second. Okay. Anyway, do you go? Ooh, hit my chan. Cool, cool, cool. Seeking again. That's a first duplicate today. I was just thinking in my mind how cool it was. We hadn't had any dupes yet. <laughs> and of course I thought it and then it happened. Oh well. Okay. And then we have <gasps> Man Mine. He's so cute. <laughs> Reverse hollow Man Mine. Cool. Reverse hollow. Nope. Regular Ekans. Okay. Again, I can, I can never tell if it's a dark hollow or not. Dark hollow is very hard to see. Reverse hollow, I mean. Okay. And then we have we Oh, Gyarados. Holographic Gyarados. Okay. And an, ooh, and another shiny, shiny energy. Cool. Energy that's shining. Uh, next up, boom. <gasps> Ghastly. Okay, and then, so one thing I'm noticing now is that the art style across the Pokemon evolutions. So, um, so like Ghastly and Haunter, uh, and then like Shelter and Cloyster, I think the evolutions are keeping the same art style, which I appreciate. That might be true for all the collections. I just, I don't pay attention. Okay, so there's Ghastly. Paris, or Paras, or whatever you want. Voltorb, very cool. Love it. Krabby, cool, love it. Kingler, love it. Yeah, see, like, even these two, now you can see it, right? The art style is very, very similar, and I like that. I like that consistency. Uh oh. There we go. Okay, energy sticker. That's my favorite. And next is Rhydon, cool. I think we've seen Rhydon before. Ooh, nice. Reverse all Starmie. Cool. I can only think Misty whenever I think of Starmie, Star You. Only Misty. It's first thought in my mind. Okay, and then we have. <gasps> mm, all right. All right, we got another full art. What is this? What is this? Okay. I, okay, just based on my very first glance, I'm guessing it's like coughing, wheezing, or like Haunter, Ghastly, that kind of thing. Like, it's like a dark one. Maybe like Muck or something or Grime. Let's see what it is. We'll see. <gasps> I was completely wrong. <laughs> I was completely wrong. It's a Charizard X. <laughs> it's the full art. <laughs> oh my God. I have gotten like, okay. In the last month I have gotten like four different full art Charizards. <laughs> so funny i keep getting charms <laughs> i'll take it i'll take it that is amazing and i love that very much good old charizard that's beautiful okay so we'll just put him somewhere else he's going to the side and then we got a freaking moltres cool we like moltres we like moltres hollow very nice and we got an energy i'll take that it's a freaking charizard <laughs> Well, because look, because see, because I saw the bottom, okay? So I saw this much, right? And when you see that aesthetic, doesn't that seem like a Haunter Ghastly kind of thing, you know? But nope, joke's on you, it's Charizard. Let's keep Charizard right there. Amazing. How many packs do we have to go? That was probably, but see, now I've probably peaked, you know? That's how, how it is. Okay, let's uh, get to the next one. Cool. I'm going to make sure I'm still recording, too. Hang on. Cool. Sorry, I had to make sure it was still recording. Very important. I can check this camera, but not that one. All right, so here we go. Next one. Got to hurry up here. So we're going to have to speed this up. Okay, first we got <gasps> Tangela. Tangela, very cute. She's, I assume, eating a cocoa bean. Fine. Uh, we got, see, Grimer. Fine. Psyduck, yay! Love that. I love his little hands on his head. It's cute. Ekans, fine. Lapras, fine. Cycling Road, fine. Once during each player's turn, that player may discard a basic energy card from their hand in order to draw a card. Oh, it could be interesting. Scyther, fine. Primate, very cool. Reverse hollow primate, actually. 
Ooh, slow bro, very cool. Love the slow bro, love the aesthetic, love it. I do like the art for slow poke a little more, but this one's also very cool. All right, and then, okay. All right, we got more madness. What do we get? We got a, okay, looking at this, okay, and I already see, my guess, it seems like a normal something. It's like a far-fetched or like a do duo or something. Like it's like a normal type or something, I don't know. Let's see. Kangaskhan, okay. Kangaskhan X, fine. And an energy, fine. Man, I'm having a good time though. Again, it's just nice to see all these Pokemon that I actually grew up with, like, and I get, like, I don't think that the new Pokemon are any less valid. It's just, it's it's like everybody's first Zelda game. Nine times out of 10, the Zelda game everyone likes the most is the one that they played first. Now, that's not always the case. And I know it's not about an objective thing, you know, it's not objectively, it's like Kingdom Hearts is my favorite franchise. It's not objectively the best game by any stretch. It's stupid now, <laughs> but it's the one I grew up with and it's the one I have memories with. It's important to me and I love it. And I think Pokemon is the same way. All right, next we have, ooh, Sand True. Oh, how cute. Definitely level two in Pokemon Snap. See you, yay, cool. All right, Do Duo, cool, nice. It's actually one of our first uh, flying types, I think. Tentacle, love this art. I'm loving this beachy, like very blue, pink kind of thing. Mm. All about it. Executor, cool. Ridge band, yep. Graveler, cool. Oh, nice, reverse magic. So now we have reverse Magikarp, and now we have a full on hollow Gyarados. So we have both, that's good. Okay, we've got reverse hollow Poliwag, how cute. Man. Okay, then we have Oh, Hollow Aerodactyl with that weird scratchy style. I don't know how I feel about this weird scratchy style. I think when I first saw the Leafy Sea Dragon guy, that one was pretty cool. But some of these, I just feel like it's not my favorite style. Like it's a cool style. It just isn't my style, maybe. Okay. Next, we have we Cubone. Aw, sad Cubone. I like that art for Cubone though. A lot of the blue shadows and stuff. I think that suits Cubone very well. All right, then we have Vulpix. Vulpix looks insane right here. Vulpix looks like Vulpix is going to suck out your freaking soul. Like, come with me, play in the forest. <laughs> that's just, that's the end for you. <laughs> okay, and then we have uh, Magmite, yep. Caterpie, oh, that's a lovely Caterpie, actually. That's very nice, yeah. Ooh, that Carmelian of Chaos, cool. Parasect, great. This looks like a still from a Ghibli film version of Pokemon. Tell me that's not true. Like that's a Ghibli Parasect. Absolutely, yep. Okay, Cloister again, cool. Oh, Pidgeot, very nice, good to go with our Pidgey. I am glad that we're getting a lot of these evolution pairs. I'm, I'm completing those out, which you need to play the game. So I'm actually glad for that. Reverse Hollow Giovanni's Carisma, fine, fine. Okay, then we have, ooh, Holographic Raichu, lovely. Yep, so now we can get Raichu, fine. And energy, fine. All right, now we have, all right, shoulder, good. Bell sprout again, good. Horsey, yep, fine. Nidoran, male this time, cool. I do like how I believe that the types are, I think the types are different, aren't they, for male, female? Wasn't Nidoran female a different type than Dark, I think? I like that. Seedra, very cool. Kabuto, very, very nice, I like that. And now we need couple tops. Oh, there's Gloom, okay. Cool. I haven't gotten Oddish yet, though. Nidorino, okay. Weedle, but reverse hollow, nice. And we got a, ooh yeah, Starmie, but hollow this time. I can't remember if the last one was hollow or reverse. I think it was reverse, right? Um, and then we got energy. All right, we're, yeah, see, we're still riding on that high of the Charizard. I think the Charizard is gonna be the high point of today. All right, uh, we have Psyduck, cool. Ekans, fine. Cubone again, cool. Vulpix again, suck out your soul. Sand Slash, cool. So we got that finished. Haunter again, fine. We haven't seen uh, the other one. Uh, Golduck, cool, that's finished. I feel like I've seen his art before. Maybe, maybe that video I watched. Reverse Executor, cool. Ooh, yes, Reverse Chaos Kermit. Okay, that's fun. <laughs> if anybody needs a Reverse Hollow, it's him. <laughs> okay, and then we have, ooh, yeah, Hollow did you again, and Energy. Okay, all right, we have, all right, Poliwag, yes. And we have Farfetch'd, yes. Shelder, he looks fossil again. Tentacruel, very, very nice. This immediately made me think of Squidward with the nose, like, <laughs> Okay, 
Ooh, Hitmonlee, very cool. War Turtle. And ooh, yes, Reverse Hollow Charmander. Good, good, good. Because you need Charmander, then you need uh, Charmeleon, Charmeleon, whatever, and then you need Charizard, right? You need all three. So good, we got those finished. That's relief. Okay, and then you just got another regular. No, no, no. This is definitely a Reverse Hollow Ekans. Okay. Ooh, nice. Hollow Machamp. Cool. We like Machamp and Energy. Good. All right, we got one more pack to maybe get one more Reverse Hollow, or not Reverse Hollow, uh, one more Full Art. But the Charizard is pretty cool. That's hard to top, honestly. So, I mean, we'll just have to see. And now we have. Do, 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 Left back. Rattata. Fine. Rattata. I like that art for Rattata. Again, I love how vibrant the colors are in so much of this. Like the purple against the blue against the brown. Like you have these contrasting colors that just really, I don't know, they, they're very vibrant. They really play off each other well. Okay. Oh my God. See, and then we have Squirtle. See how beautiful that is? It's just so, mmm. Love it. Love it. Yeah, we don't have Bulbasaur yet. We don't have any of those. Huh. Lickitung. Yay. Very cool. <laughs> Venonat. Fine. Dragonair, but regular, fine. Take it. Seedra, cool. Kabuto, cool. Okay, reverse hollow Eevee, cool. Yeah, we got our Eevee in. Nice. All right, then we have Eevee. Leftovers, great. <laughs> but they're reverse hollow, cool. Uh, fine. Okay, now this is about the last chance we're going to have to get anything like full art stuff. Probably won't get it, but we've had a pretty good day, so let's just take a moment and appreciate what we've gotten so far. Okay, we're just gonna appreciate, 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 okay? All right, now we'll see what we got. Okay. It is a Chansey Hollow. And you know what? I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That's a beautiful, delightful art. It looks like it came straight out of Kirby. And Chansey is actually Kirby. We just don't know it yet. Yeah, I can appreciate that. That is an absolute delight. Love it. And we got an energy. Cool. All right. And that is, uh, that, that, that's, that, that's the tweet. That's it. That's, that's the whole thing. Um, I feel like we're doing pretty well. I'm going to be honest. I, I mean, look, I love full art, right? I do. I love full art, but the whole point for me, right? I just like the art. I like designs. And if it's not the full art, I mean, it's not the full art. Honestly, there's so many of these designs have been so good. Like even this Chansey, like the Chansey is just like, look at this. Again, just the colors are so good. The Squirtle was really nice. Slowpoke honestly might be my favorite one, <laughs> you know? So I'm honestly okay with this like i'm here to enjoy the art and just enjoy my old pokemon and that's really what this was about so i'm really glad i got to do that i'm really glad that you got to join me doing that um ro and i do plan to film a couple of uh of battles at some point once we get the hang of the game and actually build decks and stuff we, we are planning on it it's just you know in the works we're busy and it takes time to learn these things but that's something i'd like to do in the future um i may or may not get a booster box of this one i don't know I, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing of my my binder and the, you know, Elite Trainer pack or box and all these packs of uh, really old Pokemon. If you'd like to see more unboxings, uh, let me know. If you want to see more manga, which I need to keep up on, uh, let me know. Um, if you want to see anything else uh, that you're just curious about, let me know, like Life in Japan or like my video game collections or, you know, anything like that. Um, if you want to see any of that, more Playdate stuff, uh, if you want to see more of that, just uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want and I can make it. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a very, very lovely weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye! I need coffee right now. <laughs> right now I need this coffee.